Hi and welcome to this track pass tutorial. In this video, we will show you how to assemble a 3-point hitch on small tractors. Looking for the right parts for your tractor? We have more than 14,000 parts in stock and worldwide shipping. Please visit trackparts.com and find the parts you need. New to this channel? Please subscribe, hit the bell and get notified to new videos. Alright, let's get started. First of all, you have to determine which 3-point hitch you can use and you determine this by looking at the inch size of the wheels. At 500mm you use the 14 to 16 inch and at 600mm you use the 16 to 18 inch. Then determine whether you only need the 3-point hitch or whether you also need mountain brackets and a top link bracket. First look at what the suspension looks like on the back of the tractor and see if there's a hole here for the top link to pass through. Many small Isekis and Komodo tractors already have this as a standard. If there are no mountain brackets on the tractor yet, you can now attach them on both sides by tightening the mountain brackets using these three nuts. In this case we already have mountain brackets on the tractor and we can skip this step for now. Then. Fix the top link bracket on the top of the lifting cover by tightening the bolts. Here you can see an overview of all the parts in the set. First of all, you have to assemble the main shaft. Slide this through the rim, then slide it back through the rings on the mountain brackets. If you don't have a hole in the rim, the only thing you could do is to remove the wheel. Then you take the filler bushes and slide them around the main shaft. Then take the lifting arm and also attach them to the main shaft. Then take the tensioners and slide them around the main shaft. Now attach the tensioners on both sides to the lifting arm using a bolt. Finally you secure everything to the main shaft by a locking clip. Then take the top link and attach it to the top link bracket with a pin and a retaining clip. Depending on the hole of the diameter of the lifting rod, you determine which part you need next. In this case, we need the part with the large pin. Take the part and attach it to the lifting rods on both sides. Then get the next two parts. Note, one has a fixed side and the other one has a rotating side. The part with the rotating side is always attached to the right and the part with the fixed side is always attached to the lifting rod on the left. Finally, attach the lifting rod to the lifting arms using the pin and a retaining clip. And that's it, you have now successfully mounted a 3 point hitch. Need more tips? Watch our other videos and share the knowledge. Thanks for watching this track pass tutorial, until next time.